We'll make this decision this time. Oh God. <laughs> No, oh God, I'm so I'm frightened. I don't know. Simply not. Ah! Simply not. Simply not. Fuck you. I fucked up. <laughs> As I placed my hand in his, he raised it to his lips and kissed over my knuckles. That is a bit more than just a handshake. Maybe I should do shaker. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe. I don't know what the Pepe Le Pew voice is. But... It's a terrible French accent. Oh God. I which know. I will fuck up. <laughs> which, will, which will make it work. Yeah. I felt my face burn slightly at the gesture. Andrew smiled at me before releasing my hand. I'm honored to be invited here. Seduce me! <laughs> <gasps> We've come full circle! We've come full circle! We did it. Game over. Game over. Episode's only not even a minute long. Bye. <laughs> My mother smiled at both of us, which made me slightly concerned. Why was she Why was she excited to introduce me to Andrew? Why the fuck do you think she's your mom? She's introducing you to a boy, presumably a very rich boy. She wants you to fuck him. Just, it's very clear. She wants grandchildren. Yeah. So, um, you organize this party very well, Miss Anderson. Uh, thank you. I think I've fucked it. I've already changed how Max. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Uh... You're welcome. Uh, wait. You're welcome. Praise is very much deserved. Yeah. Andrew then chuckled nervously, bringing his, a soft fist to his lips to cover his laugh properly before smiling at <laughs> Oh, God. That's his laugh. Oh, no. I'm sorry if I seem a little forward. Aha. I've just been excited to meet Harold Anderson's granddaughter. Oh, really? I'm so excited that my accent keeps changing ever so slightly. Huh? Why? He used to talk about you all the time in the office on how you helped him refine his toys. I only attended meetings and heard all of the stories. You've helped a lot with the success of the company without having actual ha- having to actually work there. Ha ha! Ha I'm just imagining this guy just laughing regularly, but it always sounds like he just one-upped somebody, so it's always like, ha ha! No matter what. <laughs> Somebody tells him a shitty joke, and he's immediately like, Ha-ha! <laughs> my jockey is shitty air, and therefore better. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, I didn't know he talked about me. That would explain everyone's fascination with me and their rather personal questions. I looked to Andrew, who had yeah, a Yeah, you being face. the new head of the company has nothing to do with that. Oh, yeah. Something about him seemed off, and I didn't know what it was. He's, he's probably an incubus. Please tell me he's a serial killer. Oh, my God, please. Oh, I thought that you were staring at me. Nope. I was concerned. Oh, I was trying to think of something witty. Uh, well, that's fine. My bet is that he's, like, an he's, angel. And he's, then he's probably like, the guy who shot her granddad. Her granddad got shot? It, like, I'm pretty sure this game opened with somebody getting shot. Yeah, but it was one of the Incuba. It was, like, one of the was Incuba's it? friends. I thought that it was the granddad. No. I mean, it could have been the granddad. Maybe the granddad the was... The granddad an... was an incubi! Oh, oh no! Oh, my God! Oh, God! Oh, my God! I am not okay with this at all. Where was I? Right. Um, he seemed to be hiding something. Whether it was good or bad, I was not able to find out. I felt someone walk up beside me, causing me to turn to them. Next to me was my dad, giving his cold stare to Andrew, who suddenly became... <laughs> Look at his face! Tense. Look at his face! Like, oh. Uh. My dad showed up. I can't fuck her now. I was going to get an awesome three away. Oh, God. So, you're Jared's son. Andrew's body twitched slightly. Whether it was fear or insult, Andrew's eyes locked with my father. I couldn't help but feel the tension between them. It irked me how fragile the air had become, enough to break at the... At Enough to break at the wrong word. You're the one who wants to be the next CEO of the Anderson Company? Ugh. Well. I stared at Andrew. This guy wanted to take my grandfather's place as CEO? I thought the vice chairman wanted the position. I think everyone wants the position. Yeah, probably. David, leave the poor boy alone. He ain't poor. (laughs) He's incredibly rich, in fact. I'm merely testing the boy's conversational skills. Nothing wrong with that. Plenty things wrong with that, actually. Of course not, sir. It's you. Oh, and polite as well. Interesting. (laughs) You're just gonna, like, fuck it up and give, like, Snake a French accent one of these days? If you'll excuse me. Quickly, Andrew retreated away from my family into the crowd of people. Wanna follow him? Uh, Get away from Daddy Dearest here? I don't know. I wanted to give Dad a fucking French accent in Snake's voice. (laughs) You can do that later. (laughs) Okay. I quickly followed Andrew, wanting to be sure he was alright. Wait! Come back! (laughs) 
I felt a little embarrassed that my dad put him on the spot like that. I had to apologize. We went, oh, wow. God. Wow. The last time somebody left a big fancy dinner party and went to a fucking gazebo, it was in Fifty Shades of Grey, and it ended badly. Oh, welcome to my fuck house. Oh, God, no. <laughs> say Red Room of Pain in... in... Oh, oh, welcome to my, how you say, Red Room of Pain? Oh, God. That doesn't There's make just it bread any... everywhere. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> We wound up outside. The stars practically danced on the grass as we stood in the backyard of the mansion. It had been my first time in years being out there, but my thoughts weren't on the nostalgia. Hey, Andrew? Andrew turned to me in surprise. However, his face was completely red in both embarrassment and humiliation. I felt terrible. Oops. Sorry, Andrew. You don't get to talk. I didn't see you there. (laughs) That's all I saw. Okay. No, no, it's fine. I should be the one to apologize. For interrupting you. What for? You didn't do anything, are you say, wrong? Oh, God. Now you're just becoming, um... God. Shit. Oui, oui. Cezanne Marguerite, yeah. Yes, uh, Cezanne. <laughs> I am, how you say, French? <laughs> <laughs> I might just do that and it might be easier on my throat. <laughs> If I knew how to do a proper Britney voice, I would absolutely do that. Replace all of Britney's voice with, She's from fucking Canada! Fuck! <laughs> Where the fuck is my hand, Jeff? They're second late! <laughs> I mean, for the way my dad behaved, he shouldn't have... No, I can't That's your it. papyrus voice, yeah, practically. Yeah, that's absolutely my papyrus or voice. Or your undying voice, I think. I can't, I can't manage. He shouldn't have been so... Oh, no. No, he's fine. <laughs> I mean, I should have expected it, and... In more, how you say, prepared? Aha! Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at that doofy smile. I like this better. This this, this feels better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Andrew rubbed the back of his neck and gave a goofy grin. Yeah, well, yeah. It was intriguing seeing Andrew's professional side and then seeing a goofy smile away from everyone. To be honest, this is not even my real accent. <laughs> I am just uh, pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I'm sorry for that. It's not the problem, really, but uh, thank you. We both smiled at each other before I reached my hand out to him. Oh, God. (laughs) He tilted his head and raised an eyebrow in confusion. Sere, my name is Sere. So it is a, how you say, weird name? (laughs) Oh. In understanding, his smile returned before he took my hand and gently shook it. Such a pretty name? I'm happy to know it now. Nah, it's not that nice. The the people who were playing this game just came up with it on the fly. It's really shitty, actually. I have to disagree with you. Fuck it's you. much better than Andrew. I mean, who names their kid Andrew? Many Lots of people. people. Andrew's a very common name. Man, can you imagine if we had named... He is insulting the star of Spider-Man right now. Andrew Garfield. I know, I was I was going to say uh, Tobey Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> or, okay. as you call him, Jake Gyllenhaal. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I was not going to say that I was going to call him Jake Gyllenhaal when I was thinking of the other Spider-Man, you stupid son of a bitch. But no, what if we had, like, named Sarah Andrew? Just for some weird yeah. reason. Yeah, it would be like, like in Fire Emblem Awakening. Andrew is when, much better than if, Andrew. If you, name, if you name your character Krom, Krom will be like, Krom, huh? What are you, foreign? <laughs> a lot of people do. Yes, thank, thank you. you. But how about Axel or Ace? Something cool like that? Those are not real names. Those are t- definitely real names. No. Axel is a Mega Man character and Ace is a One Piece character. They are not real names. Axel is something in a car and Ace is a card. They're not real names. I couldn't help but laugh at him. He was pretty chill for a guy who was supposed to be a vice chairman's son. He grinned and laughed along with me. I don't know why, but I felt warm. Whether it was the almost non-existent breeze or the situation we found ourselves in, it felt... nice. How you say nice? Oh, God. Lewis. Lewis? His name is Andrew. Lewis! That's his last name. Oh. And just like that, the feeling had vanished. We both turned to see my dad at the doors of the mansion, staring at Andrew with almost a deadly glare. Andrew straightened up, trying to maintain a business posture. Y- yes, sir? Your limo is in the front. <sighs> the driver has requested that you return home. Now. Weird. That sounds fake, but alright. Uh, oh, uh, alright. Thank you, sir. 
Andrew quickly nodded to me before speeding back into the mansion to leave. As I took a step to follow, my dad stepped in front of me. Dad? I don't want to hear it. Do not <laughs> what? Don't do that. We don't need more Do not become people. friendly with him. He wants to take the company away from us. You have no reason to be friends with him. Son, before I could retort... That's the opposite of what he is. <laughs> before I could retort, my dad turned away and walked back inside, muttering about how the party, party was nearing an end. That was fast. I sighed and entered the house as well, wanting for the party to end immediately. Eventually, only Suzu, Naomi, my parents, and the Incubi were left. You know, the only characters that we know. Yeah, fr frankly. My dad looked at me in slight disappointment. I looked back at him in confusion. I can't believe you talked to a boy. <laughs> what did I do? I overheard your conversations with our guests. You were stumbling as much as Lewis did. Well, but I... You didn't even answer half the questions. Most of them timed out. <laughs> Well, it's not my fault. I don't want to hear excuses. Fuck you. I expect that you'll work on speaking on your speaking skills while you remain living here. I better speak to your ass. You need to raise your living stat, your speaking stat, much as if this game were fucking long live the queen. Oh god, don't make me. Which think we of have it. not played in quite a while. Yeah, I haven't played it on my own in quite a while. That game is way too much for me to deal with. It stresses me out. I man. think the last episode we posted was us dying. Yeah, we were playing it with Nick and we died. Was it when we like? Did we get, like, the arrow through our gut and we pushed it through? Or was that a different? Was that the time that you played on your own? I think I played on my own. I think... Did we get I poisoned? Th yeah, I think we got poisoned. Whatever. Anyway, this is a different playthrough. Yes, sir. All right. Your mother and I have to leave. I'm sure Naomi and Suzu need to leave as well. Just because it's Saturday doesn't mean you should stay up all night. Dude, I live on my own. I can stay up all goddamn night if I fucking want to. I've got a party mansion! I need to spread flyers in the shape of dicks all over the fucking town I can and fuck get hot a different dudes. Guy Nothing in a different sexual. Room every night for the rest of my life. Right. Thanks for like having us. It was a great party. We'll come visit again. To visit tomorrow or something. All right. Right. See ya. Good night, sweetie. Come visit us soon. We'll do. All four of my remaining guests left the building, all but my dad waving back to me. With the... Wow, that's really rude of him. What a dick. <laughs> with the last of the guests gone, I sighed and sat on the staircase, exhausted. Phew, that was tiring. Uh... Angry voice. It's not like you had any work, though. I had to do any work, though. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, oh, that's this one. Give me a break, man. She was get, getting interrogated left and right. She handled herself the best she could. Is that his voice? I think so. <laughs> As expected, princess. I will, oh, show, hit me. I will show my entire fist up your mouth. Up my mouth. Yes. Since you're exhausted, why not head to bed? We can clean up. Ugh. What a baby. Hush, Sam. Are you guys sure? Positive, it shouldn't take long. Oh, God, no. Oh, not a new person. Oh, oh. It didn't take long to find you little shits after all. I felt a hot sh oh god, a hot shudder run down my spine. The voice from my dreams echoed through the air into my ears. I looked around, panicked, alongside the incubi. James placed a hand on my shoulder, trying to remain calm. Don't worry, no one will hurt you. Are you- uh, are you sure? Are you really sure? We'll find out who this voice is next time. Oh god, next time on Dragon Ball Z!